it's time to play the Black History Quiz. Test your knowledge. That's right. Let's go. All right. So I'm going to show you a picture and you tell me who it is. All right. Mm, I want to say that's Thurgood Marshall. No, is it? Wait, hold up. It's the Supreme Court guy. He's right. Oh, wow, I got it. So, Thurgood Marshall was a lawyer for the National Association of the Advancement of Colored People, the NAACP. As a lawyer of the NAACP, he won many legal cases for civil rights, and in 1967, he became the first African American named to the Supreme Court. Okay, so you show me a picture, and I'm supposed to guess it. Oh my. I want to say, ooh, Willie Mays. No. Oh! <laughs> okay, I get another guess. Will you give me a guess? Hmm. He did uh, sports. Hank Aaron? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hall of Fame? I said Willie Mays. Yeah. Okay, this is Jackie Robinson. <laughs> I should have known that. You gotta tell people about him. He was in the Baseball Hall of Fame. He wore number 42 and he played for the Brooklyn Dodgers in 1947. He became the first man to play Major League Baseball. Alright, my turn to show you one? Yeah. Mm, I don't know this person at all. Oh, uh, okay. I'll give you some clues. In 1968, I became the first black woman elected in the U.S. Congress. My campaign slogan was unbought and unbossed. I became the first black woman to run for president of the United States. Is it Bessie something? No. No? I'll try again. Um, Annie. <laughs> She's Shirley Chisholm. Oh. Told you I didn't know. That's okay. I should have known the other one. Okay, hit me. Show me one. I knew I was going to get her, and I don't know her name. I just know that she was a female ass. Astronaut. Yeah, that's uh, one of the clues. And she was an astronaut in the 80s? Mm, yeah. But what type of 80s? Late, early? Late 80s. Yeah. I Should know. I give this to her? Should that count as a um, point if you know what they did? I should know her face, you know, I know the clues, but I should know her name, so. This is Dr. Mae Jemison. Mm. Well, I don't know if we should do half points, but let's keep the game going. Okay. You know you can just pull them since we don't know the deck. <laughs> well, this is the first time we open it. Okay, who's he? Oh, man, I don't know this guy at all. Oh. But I can tell it's sports. Yeah. <laughs> That's about it. Okay, clue. I was the fastest runner in the world. I set three world records for running and jumping in one day during college. Oh, no. I won four gold medals in the 1936 Olympics in Germany. Mm-mm. No, no. Jesse Owens. Jesse Owens, ladies and gentlemen. All right, I'm ready. That's Harriet Tugman. Yeah. yeah. 
I should have been slapped if I didn't know who Harriet Tubman was. She escaped from slavery in the South. She led many slaves to freedom using the Underground Railroad. And she was called the Moses of her people. got a picture of a bus, duh. That's a, not a good clue, is it? She was a seamstress in Montgomery, Alabama. She was arrested because she refused to give up her seat to a white guy. Because of her arrest, blacks in Montgomery stopped riding the bus until the law was changed. All right. Ready? Oh, snap. George Washington Carver. Yeah. What's going on with him? Um, George Washington Carver was a scientist, worked at Tuskegee Institute in Alabama, and discovered more than 300 products that could be made out of peanuts. And that's why we have peanut butter now. You got to know this one. No? Were they, uh, was this kind of more of a modern person? Yes, a modern person. Okay. Did they have a talk show? Yes. Oprah? There you go. And Oprah Winfrey. Oprah Winfrey. I had a feeling. I didn't know how old. I, didn't, I don't know what picture they are. Uh, let's see what the picture looks like. Okay. She started her career as a host of a Chicago TV show. She acted in many movies, including The Color Purple. For 25 years, she hosted the TV's most popular talk show, which is named after her, The Oprah. My turn? Mm, yeah. Okay. Oh, boy, I'm going to be in trouble if I don't know this one. Is <laughs> that Bethune? Oh, no. Oh, uh, the hair lady? Uh... Give me some hints. Oh, she some hints. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she did invent some hair products. Madam Walker? Um, let's see. There's a middle name she has. C? Yeah. A? No. C.J. Walker? There you go. Hey! Well, let's find out what she did. She was a washerwoman before she started inventing hair products and makeup for black women. She created a company that hired thousands of people to sell her products. And she became the first black woman millionaire in the United States. Hey. Your turn. Mm, I don't know this guy. I'm going to tell you the truth. I don't know him either. So let's find out who he is. His name is Lonnie Johnson. He's an inventor. Mm. Some of his inventions help satellites fly to other planets in our solar system. I'm best known for inventing the Super Soaker Squirt Gun. Lonnie Johnson, ladies and gentlemen. And we don't hear much about him, do we? No. Hmm. Oh, gosh. Alex Haley? Yeah, good job. Okay. What did he do? He's a writer, mm -hmm. and he traced his family history back to Africa. Mm -hmm. So that helps with Pan-Africanism. Mm -hmm. And his book was about the ancestors called Roots, the Saga of an American Family. Hmm. That was powerful stuff in the 70s. Okay, I just did you. No, I, whose turn is it? <laughs> okay. From your turn. It's my turn to show you something? No, yeah. oh, duh. Mm. I don't know this one. 
I do, but I don't know all the things about her that's listed. This is Wilma Rudolph. She had polio as a child and had to work hard to overcome it. She became the fastest woman runner in the world. In 1960, I became the first American woman to win three gold medals in track and field in a single Olympics. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Wilma Rudolph. Snap. Um, I want to say Toni Morrison, but that don't have to be it at all. No. Okay. Uh, so uh, they did a book. Okay. Another book? Um, please. Ah. Oh. Man. Essays, articles. Popular one in New York City. I don't know. Lorraine Hansberry. Oh. They, she wrote plays and articles and essays about life was like for blacks in America. Mm. And the first black woman to have a play performed on Broadway in New York City. And her famous play is a book that I have. Uh, Raisin in the Sun. Oh, that's the Raisin in the Sun lady. Sorry, Lorraine. Okay. Nope. Oh, you can still show me because I can't see anything. I don't know. Who <laughs> <laughs> Shoot. Oh, uh, boy. We learn as we go along if we try, don't we? Okay, the clue is I'm a scientist who studies and writes about the stars. He has appeared on TV many times to talk about science and the universe. I've oh, the wait, this guy, I don't know his name, but did he do some stuff with Bill Nye? I don't, I don't know if they put that on the card. Oh. There was a popular uh, a black uh, guy who, uh, he, he was in science and stuff. But I don't know his name. Okay. This guy's name is Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson. The third a clue is, I have been the director of the Hayden Planetarium in New York City since 1996. Now, I'm not sure if, the, if he's still the director, but if he is, woo-woo! You don't hear a lot about black science. No, you really yeah. don't. No. And they don't get the fame for it. Either. Oh, no, no, they really don't. I mean, that, I've never heard of him before in my life. That means I need to study more. I don't care how great you think you are in black history. It's always people that you, I really didn't know that. Who's turning his head? Oh, now, anybody looking will have to be slapped if they don't know this one. Frederick Douglass. Yeah. Okay. And tell the story because everybody doesn't know about him. Well, he was born a slave, but escaped to freedom when he was at the age of 20. Mm. He wrote a book about himself and became famous for speaking out against slavery. And President Abraham Lincoln called upon him for advice during the Civil War. Mm. Fantastic. Now, that last part, I didn't know. So. I don't know what she looks like. So, the person you want to try to guess? Um, she's a writer. And one of her books m was made into a movie with Whoopi and Oprah Winfrey. And the name of the book and the movie was The Color Purple. Mm -hmm. I don't know her name, but. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's Alice Walker. Alice Walker. Mm -hmm. She uh, wrote The Color Purple. And her book was turned into a movie. Good job, Miss Walker.
Okay, this man needs no introduction. It's Martin Luther King. <laughs> but tell the viewers, just in case they don't know. Oh, he's one of the greatest leaders of the civil rights movement and gave a My I Have a Dream speech in Washington, D.C., 1963. And National Holiday in January is named after him. They don't really, you know, they don't really acknowledge it, but yeah. All right. Did I say that out loud? Oh. No. I don't know. Oh, yes, you do. She overcame a very hard childhood to become a famous writer. She wrote a book, I Know oh, Why the uh, Cage Bird Sings. Is it a uh, uh, mild... Uh, my, uh, the, uh, no, uh, you're on my right track. My, uh, she wrote a poem about America at the Smart Angelo. There you go, see? Cool. We gotta think sometime, but as long as we get it done. Okay. Oh, snap. This is old school, but I should know it. I don't recognize his face. Hmm. Uh, let's see. They were doctor. Doctor Du Bois? No. Doctor. Give me another clue. Uh, well, you got a D. They have a D in their name. Oh. He's a doctor. Yep. We don't have a lot of black doctors, so we didn't. There's not a lot of choices. I should know this, but I don't. He's the first one to own a hospital. States. Oh my God! I don't know who he uh, is. Doctor Daniel Hill uh, Williams. Mm. He was a doctor who operated on people. First one on a hospital in the United States, mm. Provident Hospital in Chicago, mm. and the first to perform successful open heart operations in the United States. Mm -hmm. Okay, man. Doctor Daniel Hill Williams. This was one of the only ones we learned about when we were in school. Um, he went on many trips to explore the area around the North Pole. Mm -hmm. I have no idea. He was a trusted assistant to explorer Robert Peary. Oh. In 1909, Peary, four others, and I became the first men to reach the North Pole. His name is Matthew Henson? Henderson? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. I'm Matthew Henson. Oh, no too many brothers want to go to the North Pole, so I'm, I'm just saying. Okay. Oh. Oh, was that Bunch? What? Graf Bunch? No. <laughs> mm. Oh, Lord, give me some clues. Let's see. They ran an institution for schooling. Booker T? What? Washington. Yeah. Okay. And what else did he do? <laughs> See, their book was um, Up From Slavery. It was about being born a slave and working mm -hmm. the way to success. Mm -hmm. And they, Booker T. Washington promoted education to African Americans ran Tuskegee Institute in Alabama, mm. and it was for 34 years. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I knew his face was like, I should know who he is. And at the mustard that time. Okay. Mm. Now I need... Uh, I need something to go with. Well, she was a teacher who started a school for black children in Florida. Her school, her school, blah, 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 blah. her school grew to become Bethune Cookman University. President Franklin Roosevelt and other U.S. presidents called on me for advice. Hmm. 
don't know the name, so. But through college, that should be a clue. Uh, <laughs> Just kidding, I don't know, guys. That's okay. Mary Mc... Mm. Mary Mclo Bethune? I know I jacked up her name. I am so sorry. But that's who she is. Mm. I'm out of cards. Yeah. Do you want to... Okay. Oh, boy. I'm in trouble. Oh, gosh. I, I recognize that she was in the Air Force. Yeah. That's all I got, cuz. That's it. <laughs> That's all I got. Who is it? Bessie Coleman. Bessie Coleman. First black woman to learn how to fly an airplane. Mm. Famous stunt pilot who entertained people at air shows. Mm. They died in a plane crash while practicing flying. Oh. She did a lot while she could. Just Bessie Coleman, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Dude, that's the Barack man. Barack Obama. Yeah. He was president of the United States. My mm -hmm. dad was so excited when he won twice. Yeah. Also, one of the f first jobs. Mr. Barack Obama had was working as a community organizer to help the poor people in Chicago. Mm. He also became a U.S. Senator in Illinois before he became the first African-American elected president mm. of the United States. Yeah, see, that's what having a political background, you can do great things. But if you don't know about politics, it can get a little hairy. Face, I don't know. They have a title. Father of Black History. Oh, the songwriter? Is it Dorsey? No. Oh. What else they got? Mm, they, uh, he, mm, I'll just say, he started a celebration called Negro History Week. It later became Black History Month. Oh. One of the first black people to study black history and known as the father of black history. What is his name? Dr. Carter G. Woodson. God. Mm, we don't focus on him enough. Oh well. Next. Arthur Ashe. Yeah. Tennis player. Mm-hmm. First African American man to win major tennis tournaments, including Wimbledon and U.S. Open. Mm. I don't play enough tennis to know about that, but that sounds good. Mm -hmm. I helped raise awareness for AIDS after I got the disease from a blood transfusion. Sometimes things can be tragedies in mm. life. Yeah, and that was that was a tragedy. Oh snap! Oh, I don't know who he is. I couldn't tell. All right, here's some hints. Okay. They're an inventor. His inventions helped electric power trains run better and more safely, and was called the Black Edison after the famous inventor Thomas Edison. Now I know him. That's the guy that did the street lights. Well, it doesn't say on the card, but I mean that might be right. <sighs> this is uh, electric powered stuff. Oh, what's his name? Granville T. Woods. Oh. Don't know? No, I'm going to have to look yeah. um, into him. So that's our Black History game. You can play it 365 days a year if you want. Yeah, every day if you want to. Mm -hmm. And that was fun, wasn't it? Well, that's our show for today. And... See us next time. We might even play another game. Who knows? Next time the cards have to be organized shuffled. Good. I'm sorry. I well, think you got the better stack. Well, <laughs> I got the most questions. I don't really know who won.